Good morning to Essential Texas. It is Thursday, October 3rd. Here's what we are working on today. Major changes coming to I-35 in Waco on a six mile stretch that runs through the city. We'll hear from drivers about what they call construction fatigue from the major highway. Plus, a Waco murder suspect is in jail this morning, but not in our area, where he was found and arrested. We take care of their, their family members when they get hurt, um, but, you know, we're, we're still wishing them a speedy recovery. New information this morning on a devastating explosion at a temple plant that resulted in several burn victims being rushed to the hospital. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. The strike continues. Dock workers nationwide enter day three of their strike. Now President Biden is weighing in on the issue. But should you be concerned about grocery stores running out of items? Why HEB is saying you have nothing to worry about. Well, folks, summertime going to return again this afternoon. But a weak cold front is on the way. We have a weekend rain chance. I'll give you the details. Um, I've seen a marked difference with our kids that when they see a police officer, they're more willing to come talk to us. We introduce you to a Central Texas School Resource Officer who is building relationships with students, changing the way they engage with law enforcement. How those relationships he's building is growing trust in the community. Live from the 6 News Studios, you're up with Texas Today.